And so I'm going to turn it over to her and she's going to share some things with your Google My Business page. Um, and, you know, Google's been making some changes too. So she'll share a couple resources for that as well. Thank you, Jean. Can everyone see my screen? Yep. Yes. Sir. Perfect. Okay. So, hi everyone. My name is Lobar. And I wanted to start out with this little quick um, slide right here because I just wanted to emphasize the importance of Google My Business. And um, if you guys don't have a Google My Business profile right now, it's, a, it's like a perfect time to claim it and open it and start uh, managing it for yourself. But if you do, then this will still be helpful for you as well. So actually, Google My Business Optimization is considered one of the most valuable uh, marketing services in 2020. And according to the Bright Locals Annual Local Search Industry Survey, they said that it's the second most valuable. And then the other services are on-site optimization, reputation management, citation management, and website design, which we're also going to talk about. But yeah, I just wanted to emphasize how important Google My Business optimization is. So I will go ahead and show you one of the profiles. So this is how your Google My Business profile looks when you are looking at it from your desktop. So right now, because of this COVID-19 happening, the, the first important thing to do is to update your hours. So whether you, maybe you've adjusted your hours, like are you closing early or are you closing later or are you even still open for business? Because I know a lot of um, residential companies, they completely closed for business. So actually it's best to, um, I, I want to show you where to do that. So it's best to mark it as temporarily closed. So if you are not doing any cleanings, Google is suggesting to mark it as temporarily closed. And they did confirm that um, it's not going to hurt your rankings. So like once you are back in business, you can just unmark it as temporarily closed and it won't hurt your rankings. They officially confirmed it. So if you are closed completely, then mark it as temporarily closed right over here. But if you are just adjusting your hours, maybe you're uh, working later or you're closing earlier, then this is where you adjust your hours. You simply click on this pencil icon and you adjust the hours just like that. Um, yeah, I'll show you. So, so yeah, basically it's very important to let your customers know about your hours. And then the second thing is uh, Google rolled out the new COVID-19 posts. If you've never heard of uh, Google My Business posts, they are right over here. They're basically updates that um, they expire every seven days. So it's best to post every seven days and they pop up whenever people are searching for your services. It's, uh, it's basically like an update or an offer or if you are featuring like a new product or an event. But in our case, it's mostly offers and updates for cleaning services. Um, so they did um, also confirm that the COVID-19 updates right over here, they will be more prominently shown to everyone right now. So it's best to just always uh, update your post with this special COVID-19 post. And you find it in your posts by clicking this update right here. So over here, you can just simply update your status. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, what are the, some, some of the precaution steps that you have taken and the safety and hygiene of your employees and your cleaning teams? And then... Um, also, I know for residential cleaning companies, it would be helpful to perhaps talk about the availability of gift cards so you guys can still support your business. And um, so what you do is you basically update your status right over there and then always, always make sure to add a button. Whether it's a book, you can like use the book button that takes them to your link on your website for a quote, let's say, and this is where you paste that link. 
or you can choose the call now button where they can, they're like, they're able to directly call you. Or you can add a learn more button where it could take them, for example, like Jean already showed you guys the sanitizing services page for this company. So you can simply just copy this link and paste it right over here. So that is how it works. And uh, so yeah, right now over any kind of posts, you should really try to uh, make sure to, up to do these COVID-19 updates as your posts. See here. Okay, so that's the posts. And then let's talk about your business description. So another thing they're encouraging us to do is when you go back to this info tab right here, uh, we're actually updating business descriptions. So it's really important to communicate that, like the precautions uh, that you are taking in your business de description. So as you can see right here for this business, we emphasize that they're using hospital grade products in the cleaning regimen. And like we, we like, also talked about wearing face masks and talking about cross-contamination. So Google is really encouraging you to like put that in your business description. While like before it wasn't really an important factor, but now um, it's really, it's really important to put that in your business description. This is your business description basically. Um, that, and that is how you would edit it, okay? And since you guys, some of you will have more time now to pay attention to these kind of things, I would also encourage you to update your ser service areas. And um, your service areas are limited to 20 cities, to 20 areas. So mm -hmm. make sure that you fill those out for as many service areas that you are servicing. And then... Uh, uh, we'll make sure, of course, your phone is updated, your website, and also making sure that all of your services are listed. So all the services that you have in your business, you definitely should make sure to list them in this section right here as well. Do they have a restriction on that little bar uh, as to how many services you can list? No, they don't. Mm -mm. No restriction right here, but for service areas, the limit is 20. Okay, and actually, for some of you guys, so once you are in your, um, like once you open up your profile, this is where you will land. It's right on top where this one, yep. So this is like a really helpful guide if you guys get lost. This is the COVID-19 updates. If you click on learn more, they will give you a step-by-step -step on what you should do. And these are all the things that I mentioned. Update your hours, and um, what kind of posts you should be doing, connecting with your com uh, customers. So in case you guys are lost, you can always refer back to this guide. Okay, and um, okay, so let's talk about photos and videos. 